All right, just going to do a video of scripturally refuting the Catholic doctrine of the so-called magisterium. Now, what is that? Well, the Catholic doctrine of the magisterium, according to paragraphs number 85 and paragraph 100 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, it basically states that only the church authorities have the right to teach and interpret scripture and that the common everyday laity, the common everyday folk, don't have the authority to read and understand and interpret scripture themselves, you know, and just let the Holy Ghost guide them. It's, it's a form of cultism, essentially. It's how the Catholic Church controls their members. Because if you let them read and study scripture themselves, then they'll leave the Catholic Church because Catholic doctrine goes against the Word of God. But let's go through some, some verses in the Word of God that clearly debunk this, this false doctrine that only the Church, only the Church authorities can read and interpret and teach scripture. So anyway, first of all, the saint is supposed to test everything doctrinally according to the scriptures. Okay, Acts chapter 17, verse 11. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily where those things were so. So when the apostles were given their apostolic doctrine, those in Thessalonica, their Bereans basically, they were forced, they, 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 were, they were not just going to be forced to accept what they were saying. They were going to search the scriptures to make sure that what they were saying was so. So you, you test what your preacher says according to the scriptures. He doesn't, he doesn't, he, he's not some kind of infallible pope like the Catholic Church makes their pope out to be. The word of God is a standard, and the preacher is submissive to the word of God. The Bible tells you what it says. You don't tell the Bible what it says. You know, the Holy Ghost tells you what it says. You don't tell the Holy Ghost what the word of God says. I'll put it that way. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. Another scripture on the matter. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse number 21. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. You're supposed to prove all things, not just blindly accept whatever you're told. You're supposed to search the scriptures to make sure these things are so. It's that simple. Uh, next point. The Apostle Paul said that the saint is not to think of men above that, was, what, that, what is, that which is written in the scriptures. I'll put it that way. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 6. And these things, brethren, I have in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes, that you might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, for the, that none of you be puffed up for one against another. Not to think, not to think of men, a, you know, i.e. the popes, the priests, the saints, the Catholic saints, above that which is written. Again, you compare this back to with uh, Acts 17.11. You're supposed to search the scriptures daily to make sure these things are so. Next point is that the minister is, is to teach according to the oracles of God, the scriptures, not insert his own eisegesis into the text. Because you see, Roman Catholic doctrine is based off eisegesis. They force their own doctrine into the text instead of letting the text interpret itself. Instead of letting the Holy Ghost tell them what the text says, they force their own doctrine and they read their own doctrine into the text, even though it's nowhere in there if you just read it as it stands. Okay, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. 1 Peter chapter 4, 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as, the, as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. He used to speak as, the, or, as through the oracles of God, not his own eisegesis inserted into the text. Hebrews chapter 5 and verse 12. Hebrews chapter 5, 12. For, for, when, for, the, uh, sorry, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need teach that, that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk, and not and not of strong meat. I'm not good at reading on a computer, but you see there again, the word of God is our meat, is our basically milk of the word, it's our, it's our meat, it's our meat, our spiritual meat, you can put it that way. Uh, it's all we need for faith and practice. And the minister is to teach according to the oracles of God, not according to his own eisegesis. That's Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12 again. Next point is that the scriptures are not up to any kind of private interpretations. And this is funny, but this is what the Catholics will accuse all the so-called Protestants, which I'm not even a Protestant, but they'll say, oh, you're doing your private interpretations. Uh, what do you call the magisterium? You're having to rely on what the Pope says. You, you can only say, you can only trust what the Pope says, and only the Pope and the priest can tell you what the Bible says. What do you call that? That's private interpretations. So... They're, they're doing exactly what they're condemning the so-called Protestants of, private interpretations. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Second Peter chapter 1, 20. 
knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Okay, that includes everyone. Okay, there's no private interpretations. That includes your preacher. That includes the popes, the priests. Nobody can privately interpret scripture. It's not up to that. The Holy Ghost tells you what the word of God says. That's what I'm going to get into next. The Holy Ghost is who guides the saint into all truth. Okay, the preacher is not infallible. Your, your pastor is not infallible. He can still make mistakes. He can still preach error. That's why you have to search the scriptures to make sure what he's saying is so. You see, the word of God, uh, the pastor is filled with the Holy Ghost. He'll open the word of God and he'll tell you, open your Bibles in a sermon. The first thing he'll say in a sermon is open your Bibles. You know, search the scriptures. Go look in the scriptures with me. He won't just insert his own opinions. He won't quote like one or two verses and then ramble on for like an hour like you'll see Catholic priests do. It's the Holy Ghost who guides you into all truth, not any fallible man. John chapter 16, verse 13. John chapter 16, verse 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall, he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. And here's a really good verse. 1 John chapter 2, verse uh, 27. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. <laughs> need not that any man teach you, like, you know, the popes and priests. You see, if all you have is the word of God, then you just rely on the Holy Ghost. You pray, you know, you just ask God to reveal you uh, things in his word, and the Holy Ghost will reveal you. Uh, things in his word. He'll show you what the verse says. You don't have to put blind faith in your in your pope or your priest, which by the way, the pope and the priesthood in the, of the Catholic Church are not even scriptural offices, but I've covered that in other videos. But the Holy Ghost will guide you, including your preacher, into all truth because they're, they're accountable to the scriptures, not the other way around. To eisegesis, again, is when you force your own doctrine into the text, which is what the Catholic Church does. But the Holy Ghost is who guides you into all truth, not any man. You need not that any man teach you like the verse says. So these are just a couple of verses that totally destroy this Catholic false doctrine of the magisterium. It's not biblical. It's nothing more than just cultism. The Pope is nothing more than just a modern day Diotrephes cult leader like uh, 3 John chapter 1 verse 9 to 10 talks about. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.